Hello everyone! So today I have a very special Specimen Saturday for you. I was coming in to change the water and add the fresh food, just put the fresh food in uh, for my crested geckos and Midna is out and about and shedding right now. So don't panic. This is actually totally a normal crested gecko look for when a crested gecko is shedding their old skin and moving into their new skin. And I don't often catch them when they have just started shed like this. So it's a great time to show you guys uh, what it looks like. And as you can tell, she's not moving a lot because I turned the light on. It's about 11 p.m. now, 10 or 11 p.m. So this is when my crested geckos become very active. My crested geckos are nocturnal animals. Oh, look, you can see her little throat moving. Oh, she's so cute. But they are nocturnal animals, so that means that they wake up at night and they sleep all through during the day. Like, her favorite place to sleep is usually the paper towel roll where Mello is sleeping. Hey, Mello. These two came housed together eons ago when I got them. Uh, but eventually, when we move, I'm hoping I can get Minda her very own tank so that she can have all of the room that she wants to claim as her own territory. They're not very social creatures. They really prefer having their own space, and I would just love to see this lovely lady in a nice tank for her so that she could enjoy it. Plus, Mello <laughs> spends most of his day inside of his favorite, absolutely beloved paper towel roll, which I have to throw out. I have a new paper towel roll ready. Oh, 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 and there was Minda. Come back, Minda. But I haven't managed to get my hands. Oops, there's my gecko. Hi. Hi, sweetie. What do you think? But I haven't managed to get Mello out of his current paper towel roll long enough. Well, hi, there's your little tongue for me to be able to swap the paper towel rolls. But today is all about Minna and her shedding. So for those of you who don't know reptiles, many, many species of reptiles, some species of fish and other odd creatures, do shed their, their skin. We shed our skin, uh, only it's a, like, a little bit at a time. And it's like what dust and uh, little like skin fragments are made out of. Hi, Midna. Whereas some species of reptile, like Midna here, shed their skin all at once. And when they do, they often will end up like this. So Midna is a crested gecko, as I've mentioned. She has no teeth. She just has a little, like a little razor mouth. This is the goop that they eat. This is actually basically a pureed crickets and fruit meal from a really awesome biologist who has put together some great food for these lovelies. But when she sheds, she doesn't shed like a snake. She does not have skin like a snake, so she doesn't have the really thick scales, the thick heavy scales, and sometimes they just don't shed all at once. You'll often see a snake, a healthy shed for a snake will usually come off kind of like a sock off of a snake, whereas crested geckos tend to shed in kind of bits and pieces, and you can actually see right over here her skin poking through, and well poking through is the wrong term, this is just her old skin that she's got on top of her, kind of like a little white, white ghosty layer. And what she's going to do is she's going to remove that skin. I keep this area really humid. I have a lot. I use moss and I have a lot of clay balls that get changed out pretty regularly. Uh, so that it stays really, really humid in their tank. They also have a large food dish, so if she wants, she's able to get inside of the water. They don't normally need to. There's the spray bottle, so I can keep the humidity up. Aw, oh, you guys, I just scrubbed the side of this tank. That's okay. They, they require very little maintenance, but it's still awesome to keep their tanks clean. But look at her. So she looks really creepy right now. But I promise you, she will be a bright, beautiful gecko under there. And every time they shed, it's just a sign that they're growing, they're doing very well. And she's so... Yeah, you're not the happiest, huh? So you want to let them shed on their own, but I'm just going to kind of lift this up. Whoops, there you go. To show you, <laughs> she has no grip right now. She is not a sticky gecko because the sticky pads on the bottom of her feet will have started to lose their oomph. But you can see where her, her new growth, basically the new skin, new skin cells, it's not really like... This is just like the outer layer of her skin cells that we see right here is poking through right there and a little bit down there. And you just leave them alone to get the shed off themselves unless they need help if the environment isn't humid enough. And she's actually going to eat it. 
which sounds really weird, doesn't it? But she is going to eat that skin shed or the other geckos. Uh, I think Mello, <laughs> when I turned on the lights to change their food and water just a minute ago, I think he was trying to eat the part on her neck because it is considered extra nutrients. So they will indeed uh, eat the nutrients <laughs> from the skin shed. Minda, are you are you like not happy? She's like, I do not want to be the star of this show. She's exceptionally dark right now uh, for her skin color. Crested geckos range in coloring and they actually shift their coloration a little bit depending on mood. And this color of brown means that she's not very happy with me, so I'll leave her alone. But I just wanted to show her off because it's very rare for us to see this shed. And I'll be really lucky if I can actually like maybe get little toes because they shed everything, even their little toe pads. Even their little toe pads uh, lose a, the top layer of skin, have a fresh layer come up from underneath. And it's so cute because then you find like a little inverted gecko glove of skin, which sounds really weird when you say it like that. But it's cool from a biologist's point of view. So we'll leave Minda alone, we'll leave Mello alone, Maya's lurking somewhere. I can't wait to get him more tanks soon. Oh, that's something I've always wanted to do for him. I used to have 11 crusty geckos, but we're down to just these three after I was able to rehome so many of our rescues. So, I'm going to let these guys eat their goop, change their water, make sure the environment is humid enough for our lovely lady to finish her shed, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye!